Good evening, saints and non-saints, but we're going to get you to sainthood. And how do we do that? We do that by faith. Faith cometh by hearing. By hearing what? The word of God. So let's begin. I want to do a teaching on the mercy seat. Um, my last video, I did a teaching on how we are led to Christ and we receive him and his salvation. Now that I would like to, um, now I would like to address the false doctrine that you can lose your salvation. No, 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 you can't. So let's begin. The mercy seat concealed the people of God from the ever condemning judgment of the law. Each year on the day of atonement, the high priests entered the holy of holies and sprinkled the blood of animals sacrificed for their sins. The blood was sprinkled on the mercy seat. The point of this imagery is that it is only through the offering of blood that the condemnation of the law could be taken away and violation of God's laws covered. Jesus is our covering. When God looks at you, all he sees is the blood of Jesus on that mercy seat because Jesus is the mercy seat. The blood is on you and all around you. When God looks at you, he doesn't see your sin. All he sees is what his son did, the one whom he sent. He is your covering. The Greek word for mercy seat is hilasterion, excuse me, which means that which makes expitiation or propitiation which basically means satisfaction. Now I want to uh, give a little teaching here. Um, our Lord is a righteous Lord. He has to punish sin because, it, you know, if he wasn't a righteous Lord, then he wouldn't punish sin. He just let it go. We have laws in our land, and he is the law of life. He wants us to walk in love with him. And if we walk in love with him, then we'll do what he tells us to do. And that means to walk in love with one another. So let's go on. The uh, it, um, propitiation basically means satisfaction. This carries the idea of removal of sin. Romans 3, 24, 25. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption of that is in Christ Jesus, whom God sent forth as a propitiation by his blood through faith to demonstrate his righteousness. Because in his forbearance, God had passed over. Remember the Passover? He passed over and the, the Israelites did not die. The firstborn of the Israelites did not die. Death passed over them. Death is going to pass over you too. When you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your propitiation of sins. Excuse me, that's quite a word. <laughs> so death has passed over us when we accepted Jesus Christ as our Savior. Um, so in his forbearance, God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. And that means previously, in the future... Now, complete. We are complete, completely sin-free in our spirit, not in our flesh. We still got a bunch of sin in there, and that's, you know, where transformation takes place all throughout your life. It doesn't take place just like boom, you're done. No, you go through it all through your life. Paul is teaching in these uh, certain passages here. He is teaching that Jesus is our covering for sin. Christ is the actual mercy seat, or propitiation. Hey, I said it right. Yay. He sat down at the Father's right hand as our high priest. The sufficiency of his blood on Calvary's cross as our substitute. This is the means by which we entered, that he entered heaven, excuse me, and the means by which believers can also boldly 
boldly entered the eternal presence of God, having been sanctified by grace through faith, faith in the merits of the death of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The Holy Spirit sent. So we're going to go on to that. You know, the Lord Jesus, um, when he went up to the Father and he sat down on the right, sand of, uh, uh, right side of the Father as our high priest, his work was finished. It was done. But the only thing that he had left to do was to send the Holy Spirit. The paraclete. The comforter. So, let's go on. And we are then indwelled by him until the day of redemption. We're in, we are indwelled by the Holy Spirit when we confess with our mouths and we believe in our hearts that the Lord Jesus is who he said he is and he did what he said he did and that it is finished and that we are saved by his blood, his atoning blood that was sprinkled on the mercy seat. We are saved until the day of redemption. This is in Ephesians 4.30. If you want to go look it up, it's right there in black and white in our Lord's Word. And Jesus was the Word, and he became flesh and dwelt among men. Amen and amen. You can't argue with that. It says in Ephesians 4, Do not grieve the Holy Spirit by whom you are sealed to the day of redemption. So, John 15, 26, But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. So, that concludes our teaching on this. I'm going to go into the signet ring. I'm going to teach you more about how I know that we are sealed to the day of redemption. We cannot lose our salvation, saints. It can't be done. You know, the Holy Spirit, I've taught you in my last video, that He draws us. God doesn't make mistakes. He's, he doesn't draw us and then throw us away. He draws us and then He works with us throughout our lifetimes. Um, it says that he is the author and the finisher of our faith. He is the author and the finisher of our faith. And he cannot deny himself. So that will conclude my teaching. And I'll have the next one just in a few minutes. Maybe in about an hour or so. This is what I have to say. And God bless all of you. I hope you're having a great night. Amen and amen.